about 50 blokes in fancy dress and they're all footballers. This was probably best part of 10 years ago. Some of the stuff people were wearing, you ain't getting away with nowadays. Really? Yeah. I swear on my life, you are not getting away with them. I know for a fact you're not getting away with them. <laughs> As you said, this is your first year in what, 18, 20 years, 20 yeah. years yeah. where you're at home, not, yeah. a, not an active professional footballer. How different is that going to be? Yeah, so normally like we're booked into like the ledgiest places, like the wickedest, like it's proper, everybody's got to put a grand in or 500 quid and that, all that kind of stuff. Proper like kitty, all planned out, fancy dress, boom, winter wonderland, can't wait. Like You uh, what? Ballers will go to winter wonderland? Oh, we do what? that all the time, yeah. We, we, if we're doing a two-dayer, so if we're doing a two-dayer, yeah, the Saturday is like play the game, go to the nice places, have a, have a nice night out or nightclub, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but then the Sunday is meet at winter wonderland. So it'll be a... <laughs> It'll be stay down and meet at Winter Wonderland at like 12 o'clock or whenever it was. And like, don't get me wrong, they still have like the VIP bit in Winter yeah, Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, in right. the German tent, they have a VIP bit, don't they? Right. Which is probably sensible because footballers can't just mingle with fans because no. you just get pouted, you do. It's yeah. just photos, people videoing and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have that bit of privacy, which is fair enough. Um, and then from there, you'll go back to the hotel, get showered, get changed, and then you'll go out again and crack on sort of thing. The Christmas do is a big thing though, mate. For Like as a footballer, it's um, you're planning it in sort of like November, but early November as well. You know I mean, you're looking at the fixtures, finding one where where you want to be. So if you're playing up in Manchester, you might spend the weekend up in Manchester, for example. Um, or like I say, most of the time though, you're looking for a London date where you can all just stay down and get on it sort of thing. You have to clear it with the manager in advance. So straight away, but you know, this is the thing. This is the... This is like the touchy thing with, with planning your Christmas parties is if you're on a bad run, like you're losing games right, left and centre, you can't then go to the manager and go, we've got, we want to do our Christmas do on this. And he's like, he's taking the piss. We've just lost five on the bounce. We're getting mm. pumped week in, week out. You can't go planning your Christmas do. So you've got to wait for a good result to come in first. Yeah. And what if, what if they don't come though? Oh, you mate, you're struggling to have one then. You have <laughs> what? You're struggling to have one. Wow. We didn't have one last year at Watford. We didn't really? Because we're losing, mate. We're losing week in, week That's out. Weird, that yeah, man. I know. So oh. weird. But it's it's a bad look though, isn't it? Do you know what yeah. I mean? If you're losing week in, week out, and then you go and book a Christmas do, people see you out, take photos of you. They're out on the Christmas. So do. fucking what, mate? Though? That's the world we live in. All right, that is it's the terrible, world we live right? in. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. terrible. Seriously, it is. you can't enjoy your no. Christmas because you no. lost. So wait, guys. Oh, mate, I, I'll probably get pelters for saying this, but if West Ham were bottom of the league, right? Uh, but they were, tr you know, there's a difference. Yeah, you can yeah. lose unlucky and like not. We've had some fucking stinker players in yeah. the past who don't run or care for the club. Now we've got a bunch of lads who've just taken us so far in Europe. Like they care for the club. Yeah. If West Ham were bottom of the league and I saw them out on the town at Christmas, I could not give less of a shit about oh, no. that. In fact, you'd, I think I'd buzz off it knowing the yeah. lads are actually still together. I'd, yeah. yeah, I'd rather you know them be mean? mates being out hanging yeah. about than exactly doing their yeah. own... What are you supposed to do? They like, just sit at home exactly. crying yeah. all But the that's time. the thing. Right. It's a bad thing that you don't do it. It yeah. is. It's a bad thing. Teams get relegated when you don't do this kind of stuff and yeah. go out as a team because you need... Like, it's when you get drunk, right? I swear to you. It's when you get drunk and you let your like barriers down a little bit. You start to speak to people you don't normally speak to. Do you know what I mean? You'll make a mate with somebody that sits over there that you don't really yeah. get on with normal and like, he's a weapon when he's had a drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then that goes through so like next week in training you'll be like mate that was so funny do you remember that he's an absolute cannon when he's out do you want to come out of us next week when we're going out all that kind of stuff yeah, Robbie yeah. Knox who's obviously a co-host on it I think he was on the last time you came on yeah, actually yeah. he said in his latest YouTube video he's a very wise man Robbie yes, he is, and, yeah. and he said he said one night out with workmates is equivalent to a hundred days in the office. Wow. Because True, imagine you go on three nights out with yeah. them, you learn enough about them in that year exactly. and what they're like. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That sounded like a scientific fact. It's definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. I like it though. That's exactly what it is. It's that chance to go and kind of do it sort of thing. So like I say, yeah, Watford last year, we didn't have one because of the reason why we're losing. Um, it's just not a good look. Um, the club, do you know what? The club are always wary of it as well because there might be some scandal coming out from it, all that kind of stuff. Mm. So I think, from a club's perspective, they would rather you didn't do it, but we as players kind of, we look forward to that. We need that. We do. We so, yeah. so, so it's booked in sort of mid-November. Yeah. Whose job is it to tell the gaffer? Captain? Captain. Captain's job. Yeah. Were you were you captain? At no, I was never captain, but I would I would always be getting dragged in there with the captain. The captain would always go, "Come on, Fozzy, come with me, would you?" you fuck and, off! I'm not skipper. <laughs> no, no, but like it's just it's like a show of force. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. like I got like I said, when you get a bit older and stuff like that, you don't. 
You know what I mean? If some, like a, a manager's not going to shout at me for saying I want a Christmas party, yeah. I'll be like, Gaffer, I'm not doing it for me. I don't want to go to a club in friggin' 2 a.m. in the <laughs> yeah. morning with the music pumping. It's like, hurts my ears. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah. want that, yeah? <laughs> but I'll do it for the lads because it's good for the lads and he'll understand it from that point of view. But did you want it? No, not at two in the morning, mate. I don't want to oh. be in a. I don't. You don't do nightclubs at my age, mate. Sod that for a game, mate. So loud. We were at the thing the other night. He's giving it the big in here. We were at this Spotify event the other night, right? It's like yeah. in a dungeon, yeah. They got, they got a DJ playing, right? The music is pumping. It's so loud, right? Yeah. Me and Robbie Knox are catching eyes every five seconds, going. <laughs> pub can we go pub oh yeah of course can she we was with pub? Robbie the other night I forgot oh, about that yeah. so like yeah so that's how it is like but it was too loud you're trying to talk to him and I'm going what uh, yeah. <laughs> no I'm the what? same now to be fair I? I, I come over so I see Ben stood there trying to listen to Robbie I come over and Ben's doing this with his hands I'm like what's going on here and I swear you were talking about how big you imagine Tyson's got <laughs> yes 100% <laughs> we were we were uh, I was, I'd already showed him the hands and I went it's got to be that big it just has to be that big in proportion it just has to be yeah. that big. I love it so you spoke about fines yeah these fines go into the kitty that are used on the night out. Yeah. What's the biggest pot you've ever seen, roughly? Like, because I, I don't know if we're talking 500 quid. I don't know if we're talking yeah, 50 no grand. Oh, pots, are, pots are decent pots, by the way. So what, what normally happens is, right, we'll... Um, do you know what? we What we started doing at Watford for the last few years was when we actually had Christmas dues, we'd kept, collect all the fine money, right? The fine money would then go to all the staff members around, like, the the, the training ground. So, mm. because, the like, say the fine money was, I don't know, 25 grand or something like that, accrued over from 25 players over the best part of six months, right? Yeah. It's easily done. You'll easily get 25 grand. Um, what we what we, what we we decided we were going to do was we'd donate, we're, we're not donate, we'd give that as, like, a bonus payment to all the staff people around the club that help us like That's so nice. you've got to think all the like physios masseurs like all the like administration staff or all, all the chefs everything there's loads of them as well there's absolutely loads of them that people don't see on like the front facing bit they just see the players and think that's it yeah we we would basically like pro writer it up and give it to all them kind of thing we'll give a bit more to the people that would travel week in week out yeah. like on the way games and all that kind of stuff but that's what we ended up doing so ah. that everybody got a bit of something we'd make a point of like we'd do it on the Christmas party sorry on the Christmas dinner day where where, where they're serving as Christmas day dinner because at Watford what they love to do is they would love to serve you your dinner and say like thank oh. you and all that kind of stuff so then that's when we would hand envelopes out to everybody like oh, that's for you that's, so that's what you like it was nice yeah. to be fair that's so why they were that. serving it really yeah, of course they oh, were. I'll <laughs> serve it today <laughs> actually <laughs> so that's what we do with that but then so then when we went on our Christmas do it had to be paid for right so we we all basically agreed that we'd all put like a 500 quid or a grand into a kitty like so like somebody would have a bank account set up Everybody like put the money into there, just like direct transfer, put it all into there. That normally pays for most of the the Christmas things. So you got to think though, if you're taking twenty lads, yeah, to wherever it is, like in London, it's expensive, mate. It is mm. so yeah, so yeah. expensive. So I remember doing a two day where like all the money was gone by the Saturday night. Like we've got a whole Sunday to pay for, yeah. So we're having to put more money into a kitty to pay for it, right? And then even that paid paid for like Winter Wonderland. We had a, like another night due at the end, and then. What happens at that point is they will basically just come to a senior player and go, oh, we need a credit card for like for afterwards or just in case or this or that. And everybody, mate, you can tell everybody's just thinking, nah, <laughs> I need to be like, and like so, so I remember doing it once, right? And I remember like, yeah, sweet, no, no worries, no worries. You've had a few drinks. You're golden, mate. We're cooking. We're having a nice time. You ain't cooking and having a nice time when it's the end of the night, right? And everyone's gone home already, yeah? And they're like, the bill needs paying. Ben, you gave your credit card, and I'm thinking, oh, oh mate, here mate. we go. Well, that's mate. happened to you before. Oh, it happened lo loads. It, ha it falls on the senior players or the captain, always, wow. yeah? It will always fall on the senior players. So we had one, we had a few where one of them was like six or seven grand or something, what? and you're having to pay it, and you're thinking, oh, yeah, this is a bit chunky, this, a bit naughty. <laughs> like, other players like will pay it. They'll just go and pay it, and then... To be fair, most lads are pretty sensible and they'll be like texting, going, right, what do I owe you and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But you definitely get so many players who are tight as you like, yeah. mate. <laughs> tight as you like. Craig yeah. Dawson, he was on our party. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Dawson then sending you and how much do I owe you, Ted? Yeah. <laughs> are you chasing him then? Yeah, I'm chasing yeah. him, mate. I, wanna get, I will want to get that money more than anybody. Yeah? I will chase him, right? I will make sure he pays that yeah. money. But he ain't offering first and foremost. Wow. Uh -uh. No chance. What's, the, what's Dawson like on a night out? He don't drink. 
Oh, really? he don't drink so miserable. He's boring, <laughs> mate. I love him to bits. Right? Yeah. Honestly, he's wicked. He's the loveliest lad. Such a nice bloke. Like, down to earth, homely, all that kind of stuff. Um, so he ain't really interested in going out. And fair right. play to him. Do you know what I mean? He, he likes going home. He likes being, like, with his family and all that kind of stuff. Leave him to it, mate. He's golden. Do people dress up for these Christmas nights out? Yeah, some do. Yeah, so if you're doing a two day, right, you will you will normally have um, like one day designated as your as your dress up kind of thing. So um, what we what we always used to do was on the Sunday would be the dress up day, like fancy dress. And we we had one at um, we had one at West Brom actually once where we actually we went to Ireland. Oh, it was banging by the way so we had Shane Long who plays for us yeah. he's oh, like yeah. the king of Ireland like yeah, honestly yeah, yeah. he's a king of Ireland he knew everything so he <laughs> sorted everything out um, but what we did on the Sunday for the fancy dress was you had to we had put a load of colours into a, into a hat and you had to pick the colour out and whatever colour it was you had to wear a suit of that colour yeah? oh, so there were all the, all the usual ones it was like red, blue, pink all that kind of stuff I pulled out navy blue <laughs> oh my god like, you're sort of yeah. but I was buzzing honestly yeah, like, that's completely quality. random I swear to you I got navel I was actually a bit bored I was thinking oh, <laughs> yeah. it'd be nice to have a bit do you know what I mean yeah. um, but there was some uh, horrors in there there was like cheetah there was like cow print there oh, was like PVC man. there was leather there was all sorts yeah there was horrible <laughs> ones um, J- James Morrison like the footballer James Morrison not the singer um, he, he picked he picked PVC and fair play to him he went and got a custom made PVC suit wow. Wow. Yeah, fucking hell it was really really good like wow. even had PVC like patent leather shoes <laughs> Really so good, like good. sweating his tits off. He was, it was horrible. Um, but yeah, so the island was wicked. So that's what you do on the Sunday, right? You do the fancy dress. Um, but I've got to say, Ireland was really, really good. So Shane Long's with us. Um, he's just bowling us around. He's got all these bars booked in Temple Row, all that kind of stuff. Mm. At one point, actually, before we went, got into any bars, we were walking. There was a there was a busker playing the guitar. He went and took the guitar off the busker and started singing. Oh, mate, he was incredible. Wow. He is, he's what? incredible. Is mate, this... he, he plays guitar. He, he's a singer. Shane Long. Shane Long. Right, honestly, he's incredible. That's unreal to just really just bowls up, takes it. Like all the lads are chucking money in for the busker and stuff like that. It was it was so so good. So we're in uh, we're in Dublin and it was wicked like it, but on that on that Sunday there were a lot of teams there right so there was like I think Blackburn were there um, Fulham might have same, been there same bar yeah in the set, no in, in Dublin but oh, Dublin's right. not the biggest like it's Temple yeah. Row you just go Temple Row yeah. and there's always the usual haunts where you'll go to um, but we ended, the first bar we went into right it was already popping like they have live singers in there all that kind of stuff it was class you go in there and there's about 50 blokes in fancy dress and they're all footballers uh, but like people have got like everything on beards on hats so you're like looking and going is that Oh, he's that, and there was a few. <laughs> Honestly, this is, I'm talking, this was probably best part of 10 years ago. Some of the stuff people were wearing, you ain't getting away with nowadays. Really? Yeah. I swear <laughs> my life, you are not getting away with them. I know for a fact you're not getting away with them. Uh, wearing some naughty outfits. Yeah, really yeah. naughty outfits. Um, but it is, it's a surreal. So the question earlier, what surreal experience? That's a weird one. When you walk into a bar in Temple Row in Dublin and there's 50 Premier League footballers in there all dressed in some weird and wacky stuff. That's if, pretty cool. If a footballer meets another footballer on the on a night out but they've never sort of met they might have played against each other but never spoke <laughs> is there like a mutual like are we are you just mates or do, right? a little yeah. Nod? Yeah. do you do a little nod yeah you got something to yeah. talk about at least. like I, I, my my football knowledge is brutal like I, I can't name half of any team yeah. can you not no I'm but really really bad like really really bad so I won't know anyone anyway but like if they so I'm but I'm very I will just say hello to anyone anyway so yeah. I will just be looking at people and you can tell if someone's a footballer can't you even in can fancy you? dress in fancy dress <laughs> can you can know, tell mate. somebody's oh yeah your, footballers your... have a look mate but really? Yeah, like they're tall, they're athletic. Um, they've normally got expensive gear on, like all fancy trainers, all you, that kind of do stuff. Do you think you look like a footballer? Have you seen what I'm wearing today? I've a got polo shorts bear on. <laughs> I've got some socks on and a polar bear jumper. <laughs> is that what they look like? I'm, the, I'm the anti-footballer, honestly. Um, yeah, so I don't even know where we're going with that one. So, but yeah. yeah, no, so if you walk into a bar, and have you seen the beta squad? They do them videos where they put one person, yeah, yeah, like yeah. they did one with Stormzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you did that, a video with them, and yeah. there was for five people, but say there was like a professional footballer from like... Belgrade or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you be able to know which one is the, the telltale signs? Would I be able to yeah. pick the yeah. telltale signs? Yeah. Like, yeah, probably pretty much. Yeah, Would like you? nice gold diamond earring or something like oh, that. Fancy wow. watch. Like you can just tell. You can. Yeah. They've normally got like a Louis Vuitton bag or something like that. Yeah, and they're yeah. always better looking than they should be. Yeah, because they've had yeah. money to sort yeah. themselves yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper like sharp haircuts and that. They all yeah. have those like shit new teeth and stuff as well, yeah. don't they? They Fucking do all that pathetic, kind of. Oh, sorry, I knew it was coming as soon as his hand moved through. Face, I knew it was coming. <laughs>